I'm John. This is The Basic Agent on YouTube. The Basic Agent focuses on the basic interest items of insurance agents. You'll find something here of use or an item of success that you may have used in your past. Maybe this sounds familiar to you. Emails are stacking up in your inbox. You've identified your target market and you're working on booking your first meeting. So you get to a point when you feel trapped and cease progressing in new sales. Every one of us has been there securing that initial meeting is one of the most challenging and time consuming phases in the sales process. So let's discuss that further on this edition of The Basic Agent. More meetings equal more opportunities and more opportunities equal more sales. That's a very simple formula. And that's why over the last several basic agents, we focused on nothing but prospecting. Even after 20 plus years of producing first meetings, I still get stuck sometimes. When my conversation rates fall, I improve my phone practices. That seems to work for me. Further preparation and practice are crucial components to success. I will produce more prospects and eventually more sales if I plan, practice, and implement the following behaviors for enhancing the initial meeting discussion rates. Here are seven habits that may enable you to get back on track in increasing those initial meeting conversion rates. First off, establish a goal for each call. I utilize a pre-call planning spreadsheet to help remind me of my primary call objectives. The primary call objectives are building a rapport, acquiring information, understanding the customer's needs, and selecting an appropriate fit of product. Be conscious of your tone. In contrast to face-to-face -face interactions when body language accounts for a significant amount of success, the tone of your voice accounts for a staggering 75% of success over the phone. When I used to work in radio, I was told this technique, smile when you are talking. Smile when you are talking. Practice that. Smile when you are talking. See, it makes a difference. Smiling when you speak, accentuating particular phrases, speaking crisply and cleanly, adjusting our talking tempo, being attentive to your prospect's talking speed, and standing up since there is more strength in your voice if we stand. Use positive language. There are a few negative phrases modified into positive phrases. You can do that. You can shift from the negative to the positive and change some mindset. For example, shifting the word change to improve, increase, modify, amend, or alter is proven to work better for calls consistently. Create a list of substituting negative language with positive language and see if there's a significant change in the call response. How about making winning intros. Be happy and upbeat. Here are various explicit and implicit internal referral openers. Here's an explicit recommendation. Hey, good day, Jackie. John advised me that I need to call you. One of our con conversations concerned a 30-year product that piqued his interest, and he suspected that you could benefit in the same way. Now, here's an implied recommendation. Good day, Isabel. In your benefits handbook, John Stewart, you know, he's your boss, mentioned that growing your benefits offered is one of the EF&G company's major priorities this year. Calling the prospect because we see they're interested in an implied referral. See, that's a good way of making referrals. How about creating a statement of interest? That's a strange one, and that's something new to me a couple of years ago. For a statement that reaches and grabs the prospect by the ear and uses terms like maximize, expand, grow, minimize, reduce, decrease, eliminate, acquire, prevent, and so on. Here's one sentence pattern for a statement that will pique your prospect's interest. You should use the following format. 
you should say something like show, give, or enable, followed by the prospect's personal role and the main benefit to the prospect. For instance, I demonstrate to our prospects to use insurance to earn tax-free income. Do you get it? I demonstrate to our prospects a way to use insurance to earn tax-free income. That will pique nearly anybody's interest. How about know how to ask? Sort of, you know, short of your questions going into the following categories. How's this? How about pain questions? You need to ask these questions. Pain questions are that that show a potential issue or discontentment with your prospect. These can be resolved by utilizing the products and services that you offer. Questions about implications. Implications inquiry are difficult to grasp, yet they are the most successful in obtaining the initial meetings. They are the most potent of all sales inquiries because they let the buyer recognize that there is a problem and it is significant enough to schedule that initial meeting. Direct inquiries. We use this when we want to know something specific before initiating a conversation. This gives us a quick answer, but it should not be a yes or no type of questions. Okay? And yes and no doesn't provide anything. I think we've all done it with our kids. How was your day? Good. You know, don't use yes and no. Also, questions about tie-downs. This is a listening strategy in which we repeat what we've heard to the prospect and summarize it and then seek an agreement. You just repeat it back to them and then there's an agreement there. So, is it correct that you have missed your quota for three state qu straight quarters? See, that's kind of a, a good question right there. That's an example. Chet Holmes, the guy that wrote the book, once said that developing a sales machine requires us to be proactive. Phone effort to secure meetings is also a proactive activity. Telephone prospecting success requires careful planning and practice. Setting time limits on call after call is also beneficial because the more time you spend on a phone, uh, the better. And working up to two hour blocks of uninterrupted single focus time is required if we are to succeed in producing additional meetings. As a result, if we plan, practice, and execute these behaviors in advance, we will produce more meetings, more sale possibilities, and eventually more sales. I am director here at Apex Insurance Group. If there is something that you would like to talk about further, I stand ready to talk to you. Apex Insurance Group is a marketing organization offering over 85 carriers, 250 plus products, and multiple specialties. I thank you for viewing this video. I hope that there was information that gave you something to think about. And we do welcome your ideas and tips which have helped you throughout your insurance career. If you like this video, please click the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the Basic Agent channel. By clicking the chime, we will notify you of our new posts on Saturdays. Meanwhile, I encourage you to be memorable.